<laughs> well, our pets mean so much to us, don't they? And we want them to live longer, healthier, high-quality lives, just like you and your family go to the doctor. Your pet should also make regular visits to the veterinarian. A trip to the vet is more than just a few shots for those times when your pet is ill. Regular veterinary visits are an important part of being sure that your pet is receiving the proper health care it needs and taking advantage of new developments in veterinary medicine because prevention really is better, not to mention easier and ultimately less expensive than treatment. Well, to talk about dog health and the prevention of some dangerous parasites, we have with us in the studio two veterinarians this morning, Dr. Lisa Young from Alanco Companion Animal Health and Dr. Ernie Ward from Seaside Animal Care in Calabash, North Carolina. <laughs> Good morning and thank you for taking the time to join us oh, this morning. Thanks for having us. Yes, Calabash, I love saying that. That's great a great name. name to say. Well, yeah, so, so when we go to the vet, what can we expect? Yes, I, I think that you know of all the things that a pet owner should establish is a very good relationship with a trusted veterinarian. And for me, I've got kind of three simple rules, three checklists, if you will, that everybody should complete when they go to the vet. Okay. Number one, make sure your vet gets a good, thorough medical history. And by that, ah. I mean, what are you feeding? How much exercise? What supplements or preventives are you giving? Make sure you're having that conversation. Too often we kind of go to the vet or the doctor, we kind of freeze up and no talking occurs, but make sure you're having that conversation. Second thing is your vet should of course do a very good complete thorough physical examination from nose to toes. I mean I want them checking everything out. Mm -hmm. Make sure they're doing all the preventive measures whether it's vaccines or blood tests or whatever. Make sure they're covering all the bases. And finally make sure you're given some homework. So what are the things that you should be doing at home? Maybe it's a behavior problem you can work on. Maybe you haven't been given your heartworm preventive like you once did. But if most pet owners can follow those three simple things the relationship the ex experience is going to be that much better. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. And the other part of that is what one of our focuses when we have visits is parasite control oh. and preventive measures on that. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of products now that are combination products to get heartworm disease, fleas, as well as intestinal parasites, which we're going to talk a little bit more about today. Yeah, and, don't, and, don't rely on your vet just when you're sick. I mean, that's sort absolutely. of the message here. I think as veterinarians, you know, we get frustrated. We only see sick pets all day long. Yeah. And you kind of go, well, we should could rewind the tape, maybe take it back six months. This would have never occurred. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing. And I know that you see this a lot in your practice where you have, you know, pets who come in with heartworms ultimately they die, right? And it's a really sad thing because as you said, preventive medicine really is the key. Besides that, parasites. What kind of parasites can actually harm a dog? Right. I think today, of course, the real focus is on heartworm disease. And heartworm disease is just what it sounds like. I mean, these are 14 inch long worms Eek. that live in the dog's heart. So, so imagine you're a little long. chihuahua, you've got a worm in you that's bigger than you. So yeah. this is serious business. And of course, it's fatal if untreated in almost all cases. Um, so for me, that is a big, big driver. And you can prevent it. There's no reason. Remember, they have to be bitten by an infected mosquito. That's the big one. Of course, the second things are fleas. Yep. Who, who likes fleas? I mean, I don't want them on me, I don't want them on my pets, and of course internal parasites. And one of the things that pet owners may forget is that many of these intestinal parasites can actually be transmitted to us, to children Eek. in particular. Yes. So it's our job as veterinarians to make sure we're educating our clients about those parasites and then the products that they have as options to treat those and to prevent those diseases. Right. Here's the thing that I've always heard though is that parasites are seasonal, that they're only going to come out in the summertime or when the weather is hot and you're laughing, so I'm going to assume that is not the case. That is a total myth. Okay. Yes. I wish it were that easy, yeah. but let me tell you, the threat from heart disease is year-round deadly. Ugh. This is not something that kind of you turn off in January when it gets a little cold, because remember, most parts of the countries are going to have those days in January, February when it does creep above yep. 70 degrees, and that's all mosquitoes are looking for, just a little bit of sunshine, a few days, and bam we've got big problems. Mm -hmm. The other thing is too, your house isn't freezing in January. That I mean, is a great so point. So you're still yeah. keeping the ambient air temperature warm. So now you've got problems with fleas and other internal parasites. So I wish it were just a seasonal thing, but for us as veterinarians, this is a year round deadly disease. Absolutely. The other part of that is our American Heartworm Society as well as our Companion Animal Parasite Council both recommend year round, broad spectrum parasite control every month all year long for every pet. And you know, it's interesting because we, we spent kind of this first few minutes talking about the problem, and I know a lot of people out there are like, but what about solutions? We want to know what we can do. So I, I know as veterinarians, you've got some really great tips and plans to help us and help dog owners know what to do to prevent parasites. And so when we come back, we'll talk about parasite prevention and other health issues for dogs. So stay right there. Good information coming up. Don't go away.
Well, we are back and we're talking about pet health with the focus on dogs. With us once again, veterinarian Dr. Lisa Young from Elanco Companion Animal Health and Dr. Ernie Ward from Seaside Animal Care in Calabash, North Calabash. Carolina. Calabash. All right, so, you know, we've got our dogs. We want to help them out. What can we do to prevent parasites? To prevent parasites couldn't be easier for dog owners today. I mean, this is not like it was 20 years ago when I first started and you had like, you know, did you remember the flea medication and the tick there medication so and the things. heartworm? Yeah. I mean, you had all this, you know, pharmacy in your house just to figure out. Nobody remembered. You forgot. So today, for my pet patients, I am looking for simple solutions, combination products. I want a product that takes care of heartworm disease, that takes care of fleas, and all those internal parasites that could be transmitted to us. So we've got pills that are great for for my patients because you give them a chewable. It's a treat. The dog likes it. You're sure you got it. You don't have to deal with any of the messy stuff. I mean, I know there are other right. products, but that's that's what I like. For for me, I'm looking for things that are a little bit easier mm -hmm. to take, and so the, the, to pet owners just need to talk to their vet, say, what are some of the options available? What are things I can do that are easy on me? Because let's face it, ultimately we've got to be the ones administering. Sure. And what can save you money? And by using these combination products, that's where a pet owner has the opportunity to save money. All right, very quickly before we go, I do want to ask you, what else can pet owners do? Because really, for a lot of pet owners, their pets are like their Children. children. And so what are some other suggestions you can give? I think for me as a veterinarian, number one, those annual exams are critical. Make sure you're getting your money's worth, as we mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. but let's make sure we get there once a year. Second thing, I love blood and urine tests because I can uncover <laughs> hidden diseases. Yes, so you yeah. think your dog looks healthy, no problems. You don't know, though, it's under underlying that. There's kidney failure, liver disease, right. bad things that if you can catch early, you can almost always not only extend their life, but avoid maybe some very serious clinical science. And then I guess finally for me, you know, soft spot is behavior problems. I mean, many of my pet, pet parents are kind of embarrassed to say, my dog lunges when I take it for a walk. So talk to your veterinarian about behavior training or whatever, because, you know, in this day and age, we have too many good tools and resources. And talk to your vet. And if your vet doesn't do behavior modification, I happen to love it. But if they don't, <laughs> say, who in my area can help yeah. me? Because yes. there's no reason for these dogs to wind up at a shelter. Yes. I mean, in the early on behavior, the earlier you catch the behavior and make a conscious effort to get rid of it, the better off the pet is. All right. And then so, heartworm disease. I was going to say once yeah, a month. I mean, that's important. a no-brainer. Yeah. Save yourself money. We've got products because if your dog or cat gets this disease, it's going to cost you a lot of money. And just think about the suffering that your dog has to go through. Avoid it. Absolutely. Well, such great advice. Thank you all for coming on the show and sharing it with us this morning. Good to meet you. Thank oh, you. Nice thanks to for meet having you. us. And if you want more information on pet health and caring for your dog, just go to the website elancopet.com. Oh, and be sure to take your pets to the vet for their regular checkups. Very important. Thank you.